This is Dr. Susan Thrall. I'm going to demonstrate the use of the isNull function in an access query. Before you, you have the table of salespeople. Notice that Louie has sold zero dollars, so perhaps Louie was on vacation for that particular time period. However, that's a completely different scenario than if Louie's sales figure was not filled in at all. Zero is something, a blank is nothing, or is null. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an extra field to our table that will give a message to the secretary and tell him or her to fill in this field if it's blank, otherwise do nothing. Query design screen, we're going to start a new column. We'll give it the name message and we're going to use IF. IF checks remember for two possibilities and we've done a video of this previously. So IF, here is where we put our isNull function and after our isNull its arguments or the item that goes in parentheses is the name of the field that we want to check whether it's blank or not. We want to check is sales null. So we're used to seeing a three-part condition here and this actually has the three parts. Here's our field name, sales. Here's our sign, the is part. That's the same as equals. And what we're checking for, the null. But when we write using a built-in function, we have to follow the rules of the function. So we have to have the function name and follow with its arguments in parentheses. So this is our condition. If sales is null, then what do we want to do? This tests true if the particular field is blank. So we want to have a message to the secretary to please fill this in if it's blank. If it's not blank, if the sales figure is already there, we just want to say OK. So when we run our query, we can see that for all the salespeople that have an actual figure there, our message to the secretary is OK. For Louie, however, who has a null sales field, we say, please fill this in. Now let's go back and make a slight change where we're going to have the please fill this in remain, but we're going to have no message to the secretary if it already is filled in. This requires only a slight edit of our previous formula. So I have if is null sales, so if the sales column is blank, please fill this in. Now we don't want to say OK, so we're going to delete this out. And notice we're left with two double quotation marks right next to one another. This is perfectly legal and is a way of saying do nothing. So when I run the query, the only message I see is next to Louie, whose sales figure is null or is blank. So if you want to check for a blank field in any record, use the isNull function.